not just the money they're giving you for the contract. That's you know, social influences, that's social media, that's lots of journalism. Uh, there's lots of things that go with it that are invisible to the artist, but they're real. So uh, don't take this lightly. I am not guaranteeing a deal. I'm guaranteeing a meeting. So be, I'm be aware of that. Well, I advise you to get attorneys. If you know, not now, but if there's paperwork generated, you get a lawyer. They don't have to even pay them right away. They'll get paid out of the deal. Do not sign anything with that. I'm telling you, without an attorney, um, everyone should have one. So that's just a given. Team, man, my manager on top of everything. Like, it, so but your manager's not unless he's a lawyer. You need to get an attorney, and, you, and it's in your interest. Every, you know, it just, it's just, um, I'm in this deal with you, but. I don't trust me, don't trust anyone, get an attorney independent to analyze this. It should be standard though. There's, there's nothing about this that deviates from normal mu mu music deals. So um, I guarantee that no one's trying to do anything. I, I have to be honest though, you know, the typical music deal is not very fair to the artist. You will have to pay back recording time. You will have to pay back a lot of things before you see gross dollar one. So the structure of the deal is unique and misunderstood by lots of artists. Um, it's not something I want to get into now, uh, your attorney can advise you, but there are certain complexities to it. The good news is you'll be making music for a living, and you'll be making enough money to make a living and feed those people you love.